Hi, Dr. Dolly here. Hey. Okay, so um, I'm going to quickly review GPTAL. Um, I know there's a lot of controversy over how to divide up the para into the term, preterm, aborta, and living. So I'll quickly review this for you guys, okay? Um, when I went to school, it was GPA. So G was for gravita, how many pregnancies. P was how many live births or live deliveries. And then A was aborta or abortus. And we would divide that up into miscarriage and therapeutic abortion. So if somebody lost their child by accident, it was a spontaneous abortion. If somebody had the pregnancy removed purposely, it was a therapeutic abortion. So that's how we learned GPA. Now what they've done is they've actually simplified things. I know it doesn't seem simpler, but they simplified things because what we would have to do before EHR is write all this down and how to break up, well, how many abortions, how many children are still alive, uh, what happened, were there any preterms or terms? So they decided to make it this way so you could put it all down. And remember, we use EHR now. We don't do written charts. So this makes it easier for you to actually have numbers all right and be able to input that and know exactly what they mean so your g is your gravita your p is your para how many live deliveries live births it doesn't necessarily mean how many babies t is how many term deliveries p is how many premature deliveries a is aborta and l is living when you divide the term versus the preterm the cutoff is 37 weeks so if it's greater than 30 week, 37 weeks gestation, it's under term. If it's less than 37 weeks gestation, it's under preemie. And to be more exact, it would be between 20 weeks and 37 weeks. So let's quickly go through some examples and review this, okay? So we have a 32-year-old pregnant woman who lost one child to miscarriage. What would her GPTPAL be? Well, she's pregnant and she lost a child to miscarriage, so her total pregnancies would be then two. Her gravita would be two. When you divide her para up, how many term deliveries did she have? Zero. How many premature deliveries has she had? None, because she's pregnant and she lost one to miscarriage. So under A, aborta, you would see one for miscarriage. And then L for how many living children? Well, she's pregnant and she lost a child, so currently she has no living children. Once she gives birth, if that baby comes out and is alive and well, we would then put that under one, okay? And pause this at all if you need to review. Next case, we have a 25-year-old female with two children that are full term. She's had two abortions and now she's pregnant. So how many pregnancies has she had altogether? Well, she has two full term children, that's two. Two abortions, that's another two. And now she's pregnant, so that would be a G5. Now we're gonna break down her para. Well, if she has two children full term, that would be two term pregnancies, two term deliveries. Has she had any premature deliveries? No. Has she had any abortions? Yes, two. So there's that. And then any living children? Yep, she has two living children. That's two. So you would write that down as 52022. Five total pregnancies, two term, zero preemies, two abortions, two living children. Let's go to the next case. We have a 26 year old female with one set of twin preemies, one full term child, and one miscarriage. So how many total pregnancies has she had? Looks like three. One, two, three. By the way, whenever you get these, these problems, break it down like this. Break it down into the pregnancies. It's easier to add. I add than count better than anything else. Okay? So three total pregnancies. The twin pregnancy, the full-term child, and the miscarriage. Then when we break down her para, how many deliveries were taken to term? Looks like only one. How many deliveries came out premature? one of the deliveries that had the twins how many miscarriages or abortions did she have one and then how many current living children does she have she has the two preemies plus the child so three that would look now like three one 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 three all right last case we have a 28 year old female with one set of full-term twins i drew little twins see how cute they okay one set of premature twins and they're even cuter one miscarriage, one abortion, and a 10-year-old full-term son, all right? So that's a lot of kids. And honestly, if this 10-year-old son is anything like my boys, I bet he's not helping with all the kids. And Lou, she's going to need a break. Okay, so how many pregnancies has she had total? Well, she had this one here, one, this one, two, 
three, four, five. So that would be G5. How many pregnancies went to term? This one pregnancy went to term, and that one pregnancy went to term. So term is two. How many pregnancies were delivered premature? Here's her set of preemies. So then that's one. How many miscarriages or abortions has she had? One miscarriage, one abortion. So she gets a two. And then how many living children does she currently have? Well, she has these two, she has these two, and she has this one, so that's five. So it's five, two, one, two, five, would be for this case here. Don't forget to pause and review these if you need to, okay? And any other questions, you guys know how to find me. Well done.